Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down at 3D Golf Performance, and we're going to talk about your backswing today and how the backswing, when done properly, puts you in a position of power and consistency. The ability to deliver the golf club on the correct track is maybe one of the most important things in the golf swing. So the backswing consists of your body pivot, which is a motion that we want to create that is a fixed, stable motion that rotates around your spine. Pretty much that simple. Once you learn it, we build it to move faster so that your downswing can create some speed. The arms and the hands will wind up your body pivot. So once I put my hands on the golf club, I want to create a drill for you that will allow you to feel the wind up produced by educated hands. It's called the bent right wrist. So your right wrist when you grip the club is basically flat. Your left wrist is somewhat bent. So when you take your hold, you simply push the club out with your right wrist staying bent and pushing out against your left club thumb. You can do this drill in a stand-up position like this, or you can do it in a regular position. But my preference would be that you start out with the club short, where it's nice and light or build yourself a short club, just re-grip it down further on the shaft here, somewhere six inches, eight inches down. Push it straight out this way, maintaining some connection with your body and your arms so you're not way up here. So you just push it straight out until the right wrist is bent, and then simply keep pushing the left arm which is connected to your shoulder socket, just keep pushing it around. If you have a mirror at home, stand with the mirror directly down the line like this on my camera angle. And what you will notice is if you push this out and you, you create this wind up of the shoulders and arms, that you're going to find that your arm plane is going to be perfect and the shaft plane will be ideal as well. And this is because your right bent wrist has controlled it from the start here all the way up. In other words, the right bent wrist is sort of the master control. You don't want it to become flat and cocked. You want it to remain in a bent condition the whole way. If it does, you'll find that the left will remain in a relatively flat condition to the top of your backswing. So your goal is to have a bent right wrist and a flat left wrist. And then you can take this drill a bit further and start to work the club back down to this position in preparation for delivery. So it's kind of like you're pumping it down or pushing it down. And you can see the inside path that I'm coming on to hit the golf ball. And I would do one, two, and let the third one go. And you really feel how the speed and power has been created by the position of your backswing, not your physical effort. Then you can lengthen out the club and start to do the drill in a couple of different ways that allow you to hit balls as well. So you might do it where you would go from address position one to two, two to three, 
do your pumping and let the club go and, and feel that incline plane that you're swinging on and the connection between your arms winding up the body and then being able to sense how that positioning creates the delivery path that's going to be online and give you that feeling of effortless power. Now remember, it's really important before you start introducing hitting the ball that there's some connection with this drill. You've, you've done it enough and you've built some happiness between what you're doing with your arms winding up and your body rotating or pivoting in the backswing before you lengthen the club and add in the golf ball. You've got to get the brain memory a little bit more comfortable with what you're doing without a ball and without result before you go to the result of hitting a ball and then of course the performance based Result. So, stick with it until you've got a better understanding and feel for that top of backswing. Use some mirrors and build that wind up with your arms. Understanding how your body pivot is supposed to feel is really important as well. And we'll continue on with the start down in our next segment. So, good luck with that. Good golfing. And remember, enjoy.